Hi friends! This is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to a special episode of Stardew Valley. This is actually very special to me uh, and very special to another person. I'm back. Try that again. Hello, I'm back. It's the Dainty Wife. She's here because honestly, we were like, you know what's fun? Because the leap year was last year. All of the dates align pretty much exactly again, because that's how leap year works. And that means that one of my recording days falls on our anniversary! Woo! Ooh. So, this year, last time, I actually did a very big, like, heartfelt episode that I didn't tell the dainty wife about. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you can see it in the upper right-hand corner iCard area, poke the Totoro. But, you know, I put up that video uh, so excitedly because our wedding was supposed to start exactly at that time that it was going live. It ended up being a couple minutes late, so she ended up seeing it right before. But <laughs> let's jump in and let's play. I figured it'd be a good thing to just talk about, like, about a little bit about us, our relationship. Sounds fun. Woo! Oh my goodness, it's a rainy what? day! Oh, there we go. I was so, having trouble moving. I don't want to hold the plant. Are you sure? The plant I, at might this particular moment, I do not want to hold the plant. Kay. Now I have no recollection of what we were doing. Same. But that's okay. Cool. Hello. Hi. Hello. We're cute. And I'm good. But at it looks things. like looks like there is a quest in the mine, so maybe I'll just do that. Ooh. We were in the middle of a slay monsters quest. We need to find two rock crabs. There it is, potatoes. So I think we have enough time for potatoes. Six days, yes. Sounds good. You want to go to uh, the mines? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the mines. There's a quest on the board. Elliot wants an amethyst. Oh, well. Good for Elliot. <laughs> All right. So. Where do you want to start? Let's start at the beginning. How we met. A very good place to start. <laughs> we actually met using uh, a data dating app. Oh, I missed the leak. And oh. it was right at a very unusual time in my life. <laughs> uh, because I was moving around. I was just in the process of moving, and also there was this big whole, like, dog rescue thing going on. There was that a was lot. A whole, that was a whole saga in and of itself. There was a lot. But our first date, uh, we had been texting... On this For about app. two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah. And I had just moved to a new city within the past month or so. And was just about to start a new job. Yep. Like, think I started the new job the second week that we were dating. Uh, hi. Help, I'm being attacked by bats. <laughs> You are being attacked by bats. I told back to you. Back, they faced each other, drew their swords, and fought each other. <laughs> oh, goodness. oh, it was why? a swarm. That's why. A swarm. A swarm of bats. Well, hi. Hi. It's dark in here. It is dark in here. <laughs> Ooh, but there's shinies this way. Come this Shinies. way! Shinies! Shinies! Coming! Oh, there's something in the dark. Fight! Fight! Something in the dark. Oh, yeah. One of those, like, shadow creature things. Oh! Hey, way down. Oh, 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 no, here. 
Oh, yay. We did it. <laughs> oh, shadow creature. Oh, I'm stuck. The couple that battles together. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found the way. Oh, nice. And I got a forest sword, which is slightly better than the femur that I'm fighting with. So I'm going to use that. That sounds great. Oh, I found the in the exit. Oh, oh and there's a dude down here. You want to go? Yeah, let's just go. Woo! <laughs> so, yeah, we talked for two weeks. And then... Went on an eight and a half hour date. Yep. With absolutely no plan. You just texted me asking if I was doing anything that day. I said no, and we literally just walked around the city. Yep. Sustained by nothing but smoothies that we got at about the six hour mark. Whoa, God. Everything just because... turned off. Oh, I found the store stairs down. It was by me. Oh. I don't know where you are. No, don't worry about that. Yeah, I was in that lower place where there was barrels. Well, I can't see anything now, and there was a shadow creature somewhere. Sorry. Didn't mean to leave you! I just I clicked can't see anything. There. Literally can't see anything. Oh. I'm doomed. I don't think I can come back up for you. Nope. So if you go back towards the entrance, there was that one piece that was down. Oh, by the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I went down. Nope, I got nothing. But if you're at 35... I'm at 35. That means that I can leave, go back to the elevator... Yes. ...and go down to 35. Hi! Hey! Look at that. I have not found anything. Besides darkness. Darkness. There is a lot of darkness here. It might be difficult for us to do much more in the mines until we have, like, glow rings. You're right. Think... Are there rocks here? Who knows? I don't think so. Maybe we go up and then we come down see if we reset it. I think we might need to leave and come back to reset it. Ah. Let's try it. Let's hey. do. Oh, yay. How many more rocks? Oh, oh, found the way down. Cool. Thank you. So yeah, we literally just walked around. We invented this <laughs> game, kind of, activity, I don't know, where we would just... Neither of us were particularly familiar with the city, um, so we literally just took turns choosing which direction to go. Oh, clever. Hmm. You and your leaks. Would you like Hi. one? Yes. Yeah, offer. Yeah. Have yeah. my leak. Thank you. <laughs> Looks delicious. Yeah, we created this game, and then I had the smoothest line ever. Uh, to ask her to kiss me. <laughs> she was talking about how uh, her friend would, uh, would text her and be in all caps about all of this. And I was like, well, do you want to give her something else to all caps about? 
And the answer was yes. So, from there we had like literally a date every other day because we w both wanted to date like actively and like hang out all the time. But like, mm. we like restrained ourselves for some reason. Because we both thought that we were coming on too strong for the, the other. Exit. Oh! Left. Yay! That's true. We were both worried about that. <laughs> when really we were just adorable little like, U-Haul lesbians. Found the exit. Hey. We were really cute. We still are. We are. Oh, exit. Oh, one more level. But we actually like ended up going through Exit. Yay! Slingshot! I never use the slingshot. Oh, no. I've never gotten good at it. Alright, I am done because I have minimal energy left. Okay, same. Woo! That was badass. We did it! Yeah! We had 10 levels. It does go much faster when it's cooperative. I can only imagine how that would help with the Skull Cavern. Oh, facts. I liked having the rainy day with you. <laughs> but yeah, we ended up having like multi other dates every other day for mm -hmm. the entirety of the next like two weeks. Yep. <laughs> I think it slowed down slightly just because I was starting my new job. Yeah. That second week. But yeah. We were cute. We still are cute. Hey, a leak. Very um, much are still cute. Confirmed. <laughs> and I think it took all of three months for us to first mention, you know, just hypothetically, what are your thoughts on getting married? <laughs> right? Yeah, like, we, what was it? Thanksgiving. So, like, only a few months mm -hmm. in. And we were like, hey, so... Thus, marriage. <laughs> Purely hypothetical. But we knew right away that... We had each found our person. We had found each other, yeah. It was you. <laughs> I found you. <laughs> I'm going to bed because I am starting to feel exhausted. That's fair. Boop. Put that in there because I'm not going to use it. Alright, bedtime? Bedtime. Woo! One more day? One more day. Because we're a little short on time. Ooh, level three mining. Yeah, level four farming. Preserves jar. Level one comment. Yay! Nice. Bug steak. So weird. Hey. It's from the update, it's new. But yeah, it's useful. Hmm. But it's weird. Because it lets you turn bug meat into food. Ooh, the watering can's done. Yeah. We can Ooh. take all of our geodes to be processed. Oh, the flower dance is tomorrow. We are gonna forget that when we go to play next time. Oh, for sure. Sorry, I can't water you yet, Steven. Love you, though. Oh, yeah. It's like, where's my watering can? Oh, yeah. Potatoes. Um... So fast forward, what was it, a year and a half, roughly, yeah. of us being together? Um, and, well, less than that. About a year. And we agree that we want to get married. Or at least that we want to get engaged. And we agree 
that we both want to propose to each other. Mm -hmm. Because we can do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, you know, we both decide that we want to do this. And so we kind of set up like rules around it. In that, mm -hmm. you know, we are both allowed to ask each other uh, whenever we want. Oh, you're fishing. Well, it's not open for another hour. Oh. But, what was our rules? There was rules, right? There were, um, but I don't remember what they were. Okay, cool. <laughs> but anyways, so I was the first to propose officially. Mm -hmm. I had this idea for what I called the museum, which was a series of... Ooh, lots of sunfish. Mm. Ooh, I could just fish all day. That sounds great. Go for it. Water can! Cool. Oh, I should also farm, though. We need to buy... Ooh. We could buy... Mm. It only goes to 28. I don't think we have enough time to make anything else, right? Potatoes are uh... six days. I don't remember how long parsnips are. Let me go take a look. But... <laughs> oh, parsnip. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I make a museum, which is basically all of the cute pictures of us um, that we've been together. Great job, Sapphire. Four days! I'm spending money. Okay. I mean, I just spent money processing geodes, so... Thanks. Go for it. <laughs> so... You made this museum. I made this museum. I'm also talking to the world, apparently. <laughs> Everybody was right there. Oh, because <laughs> of class. It's Tuesday. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think George was on his way to his... Um. Um, uh, yearly appointment, and but made this museum with all of these different pictures, very like meaningful um, items, and had our friends sneak in to our apartment. <laughs> While we yeah, because there was there was something. Yeah, we went out for the day. I wasn't. E I didn't even want to go because I wasn't feeling well. Sorry. But it was something we were going to for me. Yeah. Yeah. And like the whole thing was like a cover for me to be able to do this. Um. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then basically surprised the dainty wife with uh, all of our cute, adorable pictures over the years. Um, it was really cute. There were twinkle lights and tea lights. Yeah. And I was really proud of myself because I had planned on this over the space of like, uh, like four or five months. But then, lo and behold... <laughs> oh no. It was oh. me. Yes. I... will never forgive the Dainty Tank for this. Because I have anxiety. And... kept asking not for details or anything about what she was planning. I think there's an empty spot behind the Scarecrow as well. Oh. Um, I already did all the... Okay. Um, 
Not for details about what she was planning, but just, like, how far she was in her planning, how much she had planned. And she kept saying, oh, no, I don't have much, I don't have much. Which made me feel better, because I could not make up my mind about what to do. I had too many ideas. But all of it centered around... So, a year? Just, just about a year, I think 11 months before... We ended up proposing to each other. I had gone to a convention where one of her favorite authors was going to be and had gotten that author to sign a copy of one of her books, which was also the first book that Dainty Tank recommended that I read. Um, and had her write will you marry me or will you marry her mm -hmm. and i had this literally in a box for 11 months she and had no me. idea what to do with it uh, absolutely yours was more me. your your proposal was more thorough mine i just had been working on for a bit longer a year so, longer like be <laughs> be give very credit. specific there you did great. <laughs> so, when she proposed to me, I, at first, panicked of, like, what, or tried to figure out what to do about mine, and was trying to figure out, should I do it another day? When should I do it? How should I do it? Because I really needed to figure it out now, because she had done hers. We went out to dinner, and then when we got home, I was just like, screw it, I'm just going to do it now. So I put the book and a little box I had decorated with the ring in it on our bed. And she was extremely confused because she did not know why this copy of the book was on our bed. And I got very lucky that she happened to open it and see what it said inside. And the room was already set up so nice and pretty anyway. It was! It was still set up all gorgeous like because our friends had done a great job of helping out- helping mess out. And so like there's this uh, <laughs> book and I was like, oh! Why is Lady Knight out? This doesn't make sense. And what I was opening it for was just to make sure like everything was fine. I was expecting to see like the library information on it because mine is an old used copy um <laughs> and then suddenly it was like wait what what's here what <laughs> will you marry her and i was like oh my god of course i'm going to marry her that's absolutely amazing and so she won <laughs> Magna Geode? <gasps> it was not a competition. I know, but you are amazing. She had this book signed by my favorite author for a year before I proposed. It did take some coordination because I had to ask a friend to get it signed on my behalf and like write out what I wanted it to say so that you wouldn't get suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Because... We never left each other's side the whole time we were there. No, not one bit. I, it didn't make sense. I was like, how? It took coordination with my sister and, like, her roommate. Which means It was a whole endeavor. For, like, a year. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, but you coordinated with our friends and they snuck into our apartment and decorated our decorated our whole place in a way that we kept up for a long time except for the streamers that the cat tried to eat yeah that's true he really just liked eating the blue yeah uh, pixel just liked it it was just like crunchy yeah yeah but that fast forwards us a little bit so we got married last year in the middle of the covid pandemic panini <laughs> And the global panorama. Global panorama. Um, <laughs> the reason why is because we actually had already planned the wedding. Um, but 
you know, it was going to be yeah. more of like every uh, everybody get together traditional wedding of like here's here's the family, here's the friends. Um, mm-hmm. but that's not how it ended up being because it's it wasn't safe. But one of the big things for me was that you know it mattered to me to be married to the mm-hmm. dainty wife and not worry about that part because I, I just wanted to get married to her you know and there was also the logistical side of you know given the administration at the time not knowing how long we'd be allowed to get married and all that fun stuff yeah which is uh, always an unfortunate part of being LGBT QIA plus spectrum <laughs> but how it happened alphabet mafia alphabet mafia how it happened was we actually had planned a wedding and then that wedding basically couldn't happen because covid restrictions and then there was a plan b wedding and then the day before we scrapped that because it was gonna downpour and where we had planned was outside in a adorable little gazebo overlooking mountains Mm-hmm. behind the library because yeah. there's got to be books in there somewhere there has to be books but then we're like you know what we could do uh dainty wife has access to her father's book barn because <laughs> he's an antique seller which is really interesting and really cool uh so we ended up setting up all of our twinkle lights and stuff from like our engagement <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, up into this uh, adorable barn and made it just our own. It was a very much a Plan C wedding. Mm-hmm. There were all of seven people there. Mm-hmm. It was my immediate. Oh, sorry about that. It was my immediate family, and then two family friends who had been ridiculously quarantined, who took pictures and all that. I made our wedding cake. We got little rainbow bow ties for my parents' dogs. Yeah. Ultimately, it was perfect for us. Mm -hmm. And for what we had at that time. Mm -hmm. And I'd do it all over again. In a heartbeat. Absolutely. (laughs) I think that brings us to the end of the day. We've got uh, another obligation we have to get to. I appreciate you all. Please take time and you know spend time with those you care about. Reach out to friends and community. And I always love to hear your thoughts and funny takes on any of this as well. Well, with that, I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!